Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking the other day, one of the most asked questions um, for me is how do you eat all this amazing food and kind of try and stay fit? And actually, I, I absolutely love exercise. So if you are not new to the channel and you've been following me for some time, you'll know that I do love a, uh, a bit of exercise in the lockdown. I, got, I took you guys uh, for walks with me um, in my videos. So um, the last couple of months, I have let the exercise bit go a bit, um, just with everything going on. It's just not happened. And I am trying, uh, starting this new year, to get back into my routine because I'm really missing it. But with the exercise, I also try and cook really healthy, nutritious, delicious food for the family. And I'm going to be sharing some of those recipes. I have shared all the lovely uh, recipes, healthy recipes. I've written two healthy Indian cookbooks. Um, so I do eat uh, quite healthy um, a lot of the time. So uh, today I'm making a really nice, nutritious dal for the family. Obviously, I'm going to share the recipe with you guys after I finish a very quick workout. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, come on, what are you waiting for? Hit the bell button and that means you will get a notification every time I share a new recipe. Right, so this recipe needs to be quick. I'm running out of time. I've got a few things to finish. So I want something that is one pot, healthy, quick to make. But the most important thing is it should taste delicious. So I'm going to start with a nice hot pan and chop up some onions. So for a change today, I am using a red onion. I've got the white ones as well, but I just fancy the red onion today. So I'm just trying to roughly chop this. So hot pan, two to three tablespoon of, uh, I'm using sunflower oil today. A good heap teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds, quite a must. And then in goes the onion. Cook this for five to seven minutes. I'm just going to chop up two garlic cloves. I'm going to peel and chop a couple of carrots. Basically chopping them into kind of really small pieces, the same size as I chop the onions, because I don't want big chunks of carrots in the dal. So I just want them kind of um, chopped up into small pieces. You can see that they are browning up really nicely. It's been five minutes. Just add in the garlic and then cook for another minute. Now goes in the carrots. I'm just going to let this cook for a good five minutes. And in that time, I am just going to chop up a tomato. So in goes the tomatoes next. The tomatoes are softening up nicely and um, I absolutely love courgettes but my kids don't. So I really want to add it to the lentils today because it goes really well with carrots. Um, so I'm going to take two uh, courgettes, but then chop them up really small pieces, the similar size to the carrots. And now I'll give this five minutes as well. All the lovely charred bits, which are kind of on the onions and carrots, are going to give you that lovely depth of flavor. It's turned for the spices, so a teaspoon and a half of salt, teaspoon of chili powder, teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon and a half of chaat masala. And that is going to give a lovely zing to the dal. Good mix. And here I have got 400 grams of moong dal, which is really quite easily available in supermarkets. Um, so I'm going to add, I've rinsed it, I'm going to add it to the vegetable. Um, 
This has got a lovely flavor, very different flavor to the red lentils and also um, this cooks really quickly as well. So another um, winning reason for using moong dal. And the last thing to go in is a liter of boiling water. look at that very colorful looking thing now i'm going to cover this and cook this on low to medium heat for 20 minutes basically until the lentils are nice and soft so it has been 20 minutes nice look at that so you can see that the lentils have started to kind of break open and that's how I like them. So it's a bit too thick for me. I'm going to add a couple of hundred ml of oats, boiling water to this. So if you're eating this with parathas or roti, this is the perfect consistency. But um, I'm serving this with rice today, which is why I, I need it slightly bit more kind of fluid beautiful oh my god i cannot wait to tuck in look at that beautiful stunning bowl of dal and obviously i'm gonna finish it with a good good sprinkling of um coriander leaves i love love coriander leaves and i know it's not an indian thing but i am going to finish this with a little drizzle of chili oil this smells so good It's so, so lovely, warm, healthy, ready in 30 minutes. You have absolutely no excuses for this. I'm going to get a bowl and try it a little bit. Oh, so like I said, you could serve it with some uh, piping hot chapatis. Have you checked out the masterclass of chapati? Uh, if you are into flatbreads, then you definitely should check it out. Um, or with some rice, of course. Even a nice onion pulao would be amazing with this. Oh, mm. oh my god. Oh wow. I love dal. I can eat dal very often i wouldn't say every day because um that would be wrong mm, wow that is so hot but it has got so much flavor there aren't any big spices it's just got that chaat masala which is a really nice combination of um few of the uh, spices that are very uh, often used in indian food indian cooking if you can find it, buy it because I use it a lot in the recipes. If you like cooking my recipes, then that is a spice mix that is quite handy to have. But that is delicious. And everything, the carrots and the courgettes and tomatoes, everything has really softened. So it's not you're not uh, biting into it. It's just melting in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button and I'll see you back next week with another new recipe. I need a bigger bowl. Seriously guys, that is...